but you see the bulk of the rainfall two to four inches concentrated across the east coast and that will really be the story for the next couple days tomorrow and monday and that's because that weak area low pressure that wanted to turn tropical but had a low chance is kind of climbing up the coast and will move out to the west so we'll go over that one in just a second but let's pay attention to this guy over here this is a tropical wave that's coming off the coast of africa it has a 60 percent chance of development within the next week if it does develop it would develop somewhere inside this orange circle but most of the models are showing that nice recurve that we like uh, where it will basically go out to sea as all the systems have we've had that dominant bermuda high that's been one of the factors why we've seen so many systems curve this time of the year uh, some that's something that we do like to see because it doesn't impact many folks. As we look at our tropical satellite here, this is the one area that we're watching in the northern Gulf that will start to pull up towards Louisiana and Texas, but it's also trying to uh, pull some rain back closer to our coast. Now again, that's that system I just looked at, but future casts here, you'll see how the rain will be in a similar pattern tomorrow, driven by that easterly wind that will be breezy at times. Here we are around 3.30 tomorrow afternoon, better scattered showers across the region, but again, not a washout by any means. As we finish off the evening around 6 o'clock or so, we will have a downpour or two closer to the coast for places like uh, Sarasota, Manatee County, Pinellas County, and then once we get past sunset, that's when we do start to dry out. So, same old pattern that we're stuck in. It's basically getting back to our summertime pattern. Just add those breezier winds. For our boater friends, it's going to be rocky out there on the water once again. So please be careful. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, those rain chances decrease day by day.